Hey guys, it's me, Geeky Panda here, and I'm on another, another one of my Panda vlogs. Now, growing up, I really enjoyed playing a lot of the old Tom Clancy titles, including Ghost Recon and Rainbow Six. With that, when the Xbox 360 came out, I picked up Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter, and I actually picked up the game before I got the console, and the uh, main reason is because I'm a huge Ghost Recon fan, so I picked it up, and when I finally got the Xbox 360, I was playing it, and I loved it. The single-player campaign was awesome, the multiplayer was a lot of fun, and it was one of the games I was actually part of the H2O clan. Obviously, they may uh, release uh, Advanced Warfighter 2, which was, again, another great game, which, an uh, interesting tidbit... They actually had, uh, in Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 1, they actually had the team using Multicam because they figured Multicam would be an obvious, you know, Multicam would be the choice that the U.S. military would adopt. Though, in Advanced Warfighter 2, they used the ACU's uh, camo, which the uh, U.S. Army adopted, and that's why, you know, you get two different camo schemes. It's, it's a little tidbit information here, but, you know, originally they thought, you know, Multicam works best. So with that, regardless of what system you got it on, you know, the Xbox 360 or the PS3, it was basically the same. Now here's the deal. The game also came out on the PC, but it was very different, including the fact that it was played entirely in first person, and you know, compared to the console uh, titles being a third person. So with that, I said to myself, you know, let's try to find a copy of this game. So obviously, I checked the usual place uh, first. I checked Steam. I uh, figured, you know, it's an older title. Steam probably has it. They do have some Ubisoft stuff on there. You know, they got, uh, you know, uh, Rainbow Six uh, titles like Rainbow Six Siege. They got some of the Ghost Recon, you know, games on it. They even got the Splinter Cell game. So I figure, okay, Steam would be a good, you know, good safe bet. And sadly, no, it's not there. I'm like, okay, let's check Uplay. You know, this is Ubisoft's digital pl uh, platform. So I checked Uplay real quick. And uh, funny enough, they only had the original Ghost Recon and F Ghost Recon Future Soldier and up. So, within that time frame, there was nothing in between. You know, I wasn't able to find Advanced Warfighter 1 or 2 on Uplay, which is actually surprising to me. So I figured, okay, let me check on some other sites. I checked GOG, they didn't have it, and I'm like, okay! Uh, so, I started digging around a bit, and I checked some, you know, key seller websites and stuff, and no one had a spare key. No matter what website I went to, nothing. It was not there at all, like no one had it. And I was actually really surprised and it got me to think, okay, it's probably uh, one of the reasons why you don't see, you know, digital, uh, digital games available is because of the licensing issue. So that's why, you know, picking up a physical game, at least you got a physical copy versus a digital game. If it's in your library, okay, but if it's not, you know, and it's gone, it's gone forever until you find some, you know, black magic to find it. So with that, I it, like I started this search about a month ago and finally I found out where I can buy it and it's literally one of the last places I would ever thought of. It's fucking GameStop. Uh, we all know that GameStop is pretty much going down the shitter. They're not doing too well. But ironically enough, on their website they said that they had Ghost Recon, Advanced Warfighter 1 and 2 available to purchase. So I figure, okay, I am going to go on their website, I'm going to log in, I'm going to buy Advanced Warfighter 2 digitally, and, you know, awesome. So I did that, and the website was acting up. I wasn't able to finish my transaction, and basically, I wasn't able to buy it digitally on the website. So I got really frustrated, and, you know, and I said to myself, you know what, let me just go to the store and let me see, you know, if they can print me out a code, basically. So that's what I did. I just literally did it today, and lo and behold, I came in, uh, the store manager I know, and she's really awesome, and I, you know, I asked, like, hey, um, I'm gonna ask you, but uh, there's a game available on the store on online, but I wasn't able to complete the transaction, so I was wondering if I can just do it here. So she looked up the game, Ghost Recon Fans Warfighter 2. It was, it's 10 bucks, you know, it's over 9.99. And I was able to actually complete my transaction in the store. I literally got the code printed out right here on my receipt. And I was able to redeem it on Uplay. Now, here's the deal. Because it's gone, if you do somehow find a way to get it on your account, it's yours, you know, period. So you're able to re-download it because it's on your account. 
and that's what I did. I, I went on to Uplay, I, you know, I entered the code, and lo and behold, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter is now in my library, which makes me think, I'm like, okay, you know, GameStop also, uh, also has, you know, Advanced Warfighter, the first one, and they also had another game out there that you cannot get digitally, Driver, which I plan on doing next week, and this begs the question, you know, GameStop, you can just go in the store, you know, get the code for a game that's not even available on the digital platform, so it makes me think, if it's available on their website, then you can get it at the store, which in turn, you might be lucky to get some games you can't get anymore, so with that, this is a real eye opener here, like, I wasn't expecting GameStop to literally leave the last bastion, the last resort, ever. It wasn't even a blip on my radar. It was literally like, I don't think GameStop would have it. And lo and behold, the website had it, but it wasn't working properly when I was trying to buy it. So I had to go to the store and lo and behold, I got the code after paying for it. So this this boggles my mind. This absolutely boggles my mind that I was able to get a code for a game that's not available on the platform anymore, but because GameStop gave me the code, I got the game. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. Which, it opens up the possibilities of, okay, let me go on the website, let me check out these other games I never had the chance to check out. You know, I got Driver on the PS3, but the disc is scratched, so my best bet is to get the PC version. Well, guess what I'm going to do next week? Got to go to GameStop, get Driver <laughs> as a digital code, and rinse and repeat all over again. I, I saw in the forums, you have people asking, where can I get this? And now I could say, well, if you live in the U.S. or stuff like that... Just get it at GameStop. Like, GameStop, hold out for a little while longer. I'm telling I'm telling you, GameStop, just to hold out for a little while longer so I can just get the games I want to get, then whatever happens to you, GameStop, happens to you. You know, I'm not trying to disrespect my local store because my local store, the manager there is awesome. She's really great. But I just, I have no reason to go there anymore because, you know, I buy my stuff digitally on the digital platform stores like Steam or Uplay. It's it's one of those weird areas where GameStop is still useful. I just didn't expect this to happen at all. Like I literally did not expect this to happen. And it's a real eye-opener too, but hey, it's right there in my account. I'm showing it to you right here, so bam. So with that here, folks, uh, again, I'm just more surprised than anything else. So if you want to get Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 1 and 2 and maybe some other games, you know, just go down to your local GameStop to print out the code at this point. So, the, um, my, uh, my friend, she told me that it, that during the transaction, if they're not able to get the code, the transaction won't go through. But since the transaction went through, I was able to get the code. So, I'm like, okay, hey, that's awesome. So, with that, again, this is an eye-opener here. So... Post down in the comment box of what you think. Are you also going to go to GameStop to pick up uh, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 1 and 2 for the PC and maybe some other titles that you missed out on that's not available anymore? Post it right down there in the comment box and uh, also post down there if it helped you out getting the copies of those games in the US at least. Also, don't forget the like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification button. And if you really want to help out the channel, I do have a Patreon page. Plus, I'm partnered with AshiK.Moy for all your anime and taco panda needs. This is Geeky Panda. I'm out. Stay geeky, my friends.